Tell you what, as they say, make A when the sun shines. Suspension might blow out mine. This is my parents' house. Absolute massive house. Cleared out all of that. The first load, all sorted out. There's Marmite, our ball. Get back home and start whacking up some concrete. I got the big bad boy out again, and I'm gonna smack up some more concrete. You ain't having no more food. You have had enough. Get on, boy! But you know what they call me? The Koi Whisperer. It is endless. This is certainly no easy dig, I know that much. Whew, what a day. <laughs> it just keeps on coming. Happy days. Wrap up. This is certainly hard work. Well, over the farm, just opening up some gates. This is my parents' house. Absolute massive house. Load up all the rubble. We got a load of projects on the farm here at the moment. All the hardcore is very useful for my parents. There we have it. That's the first load all sorted out. Back up through the yard, go through the milking parlor, get back home and start whacking up some concrete. Happy days. Get out through this gate and let's get home. Proper, proper days. There's Marmite, our bull. I'll come over and do a video of, of this farm as soon as I get this pond all built. But this one is called Marmite. <laughs> Let's get back home and sort things out. Like I said, I will do a video again on this farm, show you what's going on, show you around my place. I'm cracking on. I'll see you in a bit. Tell you what, as they say, make A when the sun shines. Just done a full day's graft at work. I've done three drops of... Uh, rubbish that i needed to get rid of dumped that over the farm first thing this morning <laughs> on my lunch break and now come home i got the big bad boy out again and i'm gonna smack up some more concrete i'm gonna keep going until i get this pond exactly how i want it pretty much cleared out all of this area it's gonna be a very very noisy couple of hours the weather's banging today Obviously, this stuff's easier to pick up when it's dry, but when this stuff gets wet, it just makes a mud swamp everywhere. So the more I can get out now where it's dry, the better it will be for me. I'm keeping this end clean at the moment, so I can keep boxing off what I'm doing every night, make sure all of the koi are proper healthy. I mean, look at the stones going in the bottom of the pond. They're not too keen on all of the vibration off of the drilling, but there's not much I can do about that. I'm gonna do a small little water change on these while I'm out here for the next hour or two hours. You ain't having no more food. You have had enough. Not even spring yet, should I say. Look at the uh, blanket weed starting to grow where the sun's hitting it. UV's still been off for well over a week now. No skimmer in the pond. I haven't been feeding very much, to be fair with you, but water quality and clarity is very, very good. So I'm really happy about that. Happy days, let's crack on. cracking on with it it definitely helps have i got me work mate in we both work together every day of the week so well we all know this ain't the best food in the world but for a quick snack it will do well we just found this and uh january 11 that went out of date so um it's definitely been in here a long time we put this concrete in all these many years ago <laughs> now we're both taking it out <laughs> We're certainly getting there now. Look out now then. So, I would say that's a good portion of that concrete out. But we have found underneath the concrete, which I can't remember what was here, but we got another layer of slabs, which have been buried. Oh, I can't even get them out. I'm going to have to smack them up a bit more. So there's another layer of slabs all the way up through. And I've also found the old foundation where the base of the 6B3 shed used to be and I've got a load of block work in here what all needs to come out so this is one hell of a job hope you give credit where credit's due a lot of people wouldn't bother a lot of people wouldn't go to this effort but you know what they call me the koi whisperer so this day just keeps getting better and better so I've got rid of all my concrete Whew, you have to excuse me a minute but I've just found all of that there. I mean, look at this. This is curbing stones, three of them, massive curbing stones buried here. So I, th I thought I just cleared it. Now I've found 
it looks like another shed base of some sort car this day's just getting better and better wrap up certainly got me work cut out here i can tell you that for 100 percent. this is a job i certainly got a job on my hands i just keep finding more and more stuff whoever lived here prior before me obviously they've just backfilled in all of the rubble i mean this ain't even i didn't even know none of this was even here i will get there i think i've got down to earth level there i've just found another run of concrete looks like a load of these carbon stones again i've also found another base of concrete up through here it's just endless man it is endless this is certainly no easy dig i know that much Whew. one bag at a time one bag at a time i've got to get rid of all of this i've ran out of bags i've used up every blue bag i've got and i haven't even well i haven't even took out all the earth yet i'm still finding concrete underneath here this is all concrete slab stuff i didn't know what was here it's going to be a hell of a job but we'll get it done one job at a time one bag at a time what a day but just before i knock off the bed water change all finished up when i say knock off the bed knock off inside to have a shower get ready sort myself out edit a bit more videos can't really give you the plans yet of what i need to do i need to i need to get to that stage before i can give you the plans the actual rundown so you guys can see it as i see it as i map it out as i get the string lines out and we can go from there but bit of an update all the fish are doing fantastic to be fair with all the noise and vibration it ain't doing them any favors i have chucked a bit of food in today i shouldn't have put any food in at all really it's water temperatures are still not warm enough the heaters are off of the pond they do give out a bit of a cold spell it's been really warm this week water temperatures has warmed up a lot air temperatures has been 15 i've even had 17 degrees today sat in the garden which has been which has been fantastic here in the sun i'll run you through show you the rubble out the front of the house because you won't believe it I cleared it all this morning and it's all come back twice as much <laughs> just keeps on coming happy days tell you what you wouldn't believe this i have cleared a load of space in here as well so i've got rid of my barbecue and pizza oven got rid of all the bits and pieces that are just going to get in my way when i got block work and sand and cement and materials turning up i've kept this osb board this will come in handy what my plans are i'm going to get a flatbed take this tree out take this tree out take this tree out move everything i've got here over to this side and then use this as my work area lay down the osb and then as i come in with the wheelbarrow loads dump my earth there and then i'm going to get a lorry grabber and just get rid of as much earth as possible this is the cheapest way of me doing it i've got to get rid of all of this hopefully i can get it to the farm again the weight what's in there is unbelievable it took me all day today just to ship that out it's been crazy no rest for the wicked it never ends back on the road again i've got mrs whisperer with me we're in the work van but yeah we're gonna get over to the farm get rid of another couple of loads tonight give out a load of rain this week so everything i got bagged up i want to get over the farm because you know what it's like if all these bags start getting wet it just makes hard harder work out of what already is our job anyway but i had a basically the reason why i'm doing it by bags i'm on a massive massive budget and i had a quote from the skips because i haven't got no land no property out the front of my house no driveway to put a skip i've got to pay for a permit to put it on the road and each skip will come back at 509 pound and look into how many skips that i'm gonna need it's just too many i'm doing it this way to start off with as much as i can get rid of this way one good bit of good news one of the main reasons why i can build this pond as you can see mrs whisperer there driving the work van well since covid since covid hit we've upped our delivery rounds at work at my work so we've managed to uh i've managed to nail my missus a job at my place she is the delivery girl she is limited on hours but one advantage is that we got this van so uh i hope my boss don't see this video but that being said i'm gonna crack on and unload all of this stuff and i'll be back with you shortly happy happy days
still a little bit of light left. I'm gonna go and get another load. <laughs> Let's get it gone. Ooh. Wrap up. This is certainly odd work. Well, I got me work cut out here for sure. There we have it. All cleared up, ready for this weekend.